Hello everybody, I'm Charlie Andrews the cook and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Cajun style New Orleans red beans and rice. Now this recipe is one of several recipes for red beans and rice. I'm going to cook it several different ways. So, um, but as you can see, I have all my ingredients in front of me. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Okay, this is what all you're going to need to make your uh, New Orleans Cajun style red beans and rice. Okay, now first we're going to start over here. Um, we have uh, one package that's uh, two pounds, 907 grams of red beans. Now this is a very large uh, package compared to the one pound. But um, you can use one pound, just uh, use half of the uh, thing if you want to use one pound. We have uh, celery, we have parsley, um, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, um, garlic, onion, and over here we have a uh, smoked sausage. Now down here in, in the south um, we normally use D&D &D smoked sausage but I just choose to use this one over it okay, because it's a little cheaper but hey and here we have um, this is the uh, th we call this pickle meat but um, this is pickled pork brisket bones and we actually have uh, two packs of it and that is about how many let's see This is about two pounds, so it's about four pounds altogether. Okay, and we're going to need some butter and Creole seasoning. Down down here in the south, we use Creole seasoning for our beans to season all types of food. We don't really use salt and pepper too much. But as you can see, I have my rice finished. I just finished my rice not too long ago. And uh, if you want to look it up on how to make this perfect rice you can uh, just look at my rice video on how to cook it and I also just finished my um, delicious um, buttery cornbread right here and it's kinda hot because I just took it out of the oven ouch Ooh, kinda hot yes 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 but uh, this is it okay here's two pots that um, two kinds of pots that you're going to need to uh, make your red beans these are very tall pots so um, you're going to need this to make your beans, okay? Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add your beans in a pot. Okay, just add a little bit. And what we're going to do here is we're going to sort out. As you can see, you see how this bean is? This bean is a little dirty. Okay, you want to sort through these beans. Going to do is you're going to check to see if um, you can find any bad beans, any beans that may be discolored or have a little dirt on them, or even some beans that have been broken, like this one right here, which I'm trying to pick up. I have long nails. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's all broken up. You don't want that in there. So, any beans that have any, um, any type of uh, dirt or anything, any type of discolored beans you're going to take those out okay and you're going to continue to do this you done all your beans. okay okay next what we're going to do is we are we already added a little water um, this is uh, eight cups of uh, water already so we're going to make it ten so we have two extra uh, cups that we're going to add in here so this will be 10 cups of water into our beans, okay? Alright. Now that we've added our 10 cups, what we're going to do is, um, this is the traditional New Orleans way, we let these beans soak overnight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cover over this, and I'm going to let this sit overnight. Um, this helps um, the beans cook much faster. Um, in the morning when I open it up the beans are going to be slightly bigger than what they already are in the pot right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cover that um, and let that sit overnight. Okay now that we've had now that we have our beans um, on a stove soaking overnight um, right now is the best time to prep up all of your ingredients. Um, like I say we have celery, our parsley, our bell peppers, onion, garlic, 
uh, smoked sausage and uh, pickle pickle meat or pork pickle pork brisket bones okay now what I want to let you know is that um, even though we see all of this here in large quantities but we're not going to add all of this into our beans especially the seasoning down here uh, we might be using about three two to three stalks of celery a little bit of parsley probably half of a half of the bell peppers half of the onion and half of the garlic now these are the most important things right here the onion and the garlic you don't want to add too much of um, onion and garlic into your beans simply because it's if you add too much it's going to overpower everything so you don't want that so without further ado let's um, prep up our food okay now it's time to prep all our ingredients now the most important thing is um, before you prep any of this stuff you want to make sure you have some gloves um, like what I have right here now um, unfortunately I can't use these gloves because they're a little dirty so uh, I'm going to have to use my hands but if you are using your hands make sure you wash your hands thoroughly before you food, food with any of this stuff okay so without further ado okay first thing you're going to do is chop your onion now mind you like I said if you're using uh, the whole bag of beans you're not going to use that much of onion and um, if you are using the one pound you're only going to use about the same thing use a food processor if you like. If you are using a food processor, just hold it. Okay, next we're going to chop up our bell peppers. Now mind you, um, if uh, before you chop up your bell pepper, you want to make sure you take this core out, um, which is this right here. You want to make sure you take that out, okay? Okay, now we're going to chop up our garlic. Now, um, you got to take the garlic out of this uh, cocoon thing here, and you're going to peel it off, and the uh, next thing we're going to do is going to cut it. Now, mind you, I want to let you know, give you a warning, um, garlic is a very strong ingredient, okay? So you can't add too much of garlic into your beans, okay? So um, you could add about one, possibly about one to one and a half cloves of garlic. Now this garlic I have here is much bigger than the original one, so uh, chances are I won't be using all of this in the recipe. Okay? So, like I said, one clove, one clove of garlic will do just fine. Okay? Okay, now it's time to chop up our celery for our red beans. Now here I have um, four um, little stalks. Of celery. Now mind you, we're not going to be using all of this celery um, to add into our beans, but I want to let you know, before you cut your celery, please take it to your zinc and rinse it off because celery tends to have dirt. Okay, so you want to make sure you go to your zinc, rinse it off and everything before cutting. Okay? Okay, now it's time to chop up our um, parsley. Now I've taken um, some parsley here and I just chopped one uh, half of it off and I set it on the table and uh, what you have to do is you have to chop it over and over again now if you um, choose to use a um, a food processor you can but I use the knife and I just chop until it resembles uh, coarse crumbs like how I have it here okay just okay, like now that. it's time to prep our meat okay now here I have um, two packages of smoked sausage that's uh, 29 uh, ounces that's uh, almost 600 grams a little bit more than 600 grams of smoked sausage now um, I like to cut my smoked sausage pretty big to put in my beans so that's how I always do it so okay I like to chop mine nice and thick Okay, here we have uh, two pounds of uh, pickle meat, um, in other words, uh, pork brisket bones. And uh, what we're going to do is, um, just like with any other meat that has blood in it, you want to make sure that you uh, clean your meat thoroughly. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there. And then we're going to rinse it off. got to make sure this is important to clean this meat off. And also, um, don't do like how I do. Um, wear some protective gloves when cleaning this type of 
So, if you have it, you have it. If not, well, make sure you wash your hands before you, uh, before you clean your meat. Okay? So, we're going to rinse this off. And make sure it's rinsed off thoroughly, even if it means picking up each individual one, individual one. Rinse it all off. Okay, like that. Rinse it off thoroughly. Okay, and this is the other two pounds of uh, pickle meat. In other words, pork brisket bones. This is two more pounds, so that's four pounds all together. I add that in there. Oops. And like I said, we're going to rinse this all very thoroughly. Take that out of there. Like that. Okay, now that we have our pickled pork um, or pickled meat clean, um, like I said, um, this is what is going to give your beans flavor this right here pickle pork pickle meat whatever you call it this is what's going to give your beans flavor all right so what i like to do is i would like to take some of this meat and uh like to marinate it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of this tony sachets right here and i'm going to sprinkle a little bit on top sprinkle a little bit on top of that like that and i'll take it and put it in this bag here I'm sorry, I'm just with one hand. Take it and put it in this bag here. And just wrap it up and you could let it sit in the fridge overnight. And that way the next morning when you get up, you just put it in your beans and voila. Okay? So that's what I like to do. Okay, and there we have it. We finished prepping up all our ingredients. Now we're going to start off with over here. We have our chopped onion, our chopped garlic, chopped celery, chopped bell pepper, chopped parsley. We have our uh, smoked sausage. And we have our pickled pork, which we've uh, cleaned thoroughly. And we put a little um, Tony Sacheret Creole seasoning on it. And we put it in the bag and we're going to let this marinate overnight. Now I want to warn you because um, tomorrow when you get up, this is going to be one of the first things you put in your beans before you um, before you start cooking, okay? And by them already having seasoning in them and by already being curved with salt, you're not going to really add any more seasoning to your beans. This is the number one thing that is going to give your beans the ultimate flavor, the flavor that it needs, okay? All right. Now, and as you can see, we have our beans over here soaking. As you can see, it's gotten a little bit bigger, but we're going to let this soak overnight. And in the next morning, we might be putting a little bit more extra water now. Um, this is about 10 cups of water in here. So um, we'll be back in the morning to check and to start cooking our beans. Good morning. Okay, we've been letting our beans soak overnight for about um, 12 hours. Now, mind you, this is uh, 10 cups of water we had in here. And as you can see, the beans have increased in size over the past few hours. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to add a little water. We're going to add a little extra water to it because it does need a little bit of water. So, we're going to add two additional cups and that is about two cups okay and two additional cups then we're going to add another two cups okay so that is 14 cups of water total that we have in these beans okay so, okay, here's our package of uh, pickle tips, which we've cleaned thoroughly and seasoned with a little bit of Tony Sacheret's Creole seasoning, and we let marinate overnight, okay? 
so what we're going to do is is we're going to put these in our red beans first okay so time to get to cooking okay we just turned our beans we just turned our fire on now you want to make sure that your fire is um, medium high heat okay medium high heat and what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and add our pickle meat in this is the very first thing you want to add into your beans okay so we're going to add our pickle meat right on in Now this pickle meat is what is going to give your beans flavor, okay? You want flavor for your beans? Look no further. This will be the flavor to your beans right here. Okay, and what we're going to do is, um, now we're mixing this in, we're going to uh, let this simmer for about one hour, Get it to bring it to a ball. We're not going to add any of the seasonings like the onion and garlic and stuff until later. Okay. So we're going to cover this and let it simmer for about one hour. Put it all the way up to an hour. Bam! There we go. So like I said, we're going to let the beans cook for about an hour bringing them to a ball okay time is okay, up okay now uh, it's been an hour since we've been cooking our red beans and what I'm going to do here is add a little seasoning to it okay so we have some uh, onion and uh, garlic and we're going to add that in Now we don't want to add too much of garlic. Okay, add our onion and our garlic in. And next we're going to add our celery and our bell pepper in. And like I said, we're not going to use a whole lot of celery. Okay. All right. And we have our parsley right here. We're going to add that in here. All right. And we're going to mix this in. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, let this cook for about an extra hour. And there you go. Now, like I said, we're going to cook this for about an extra hour. Okay, time is up. Okay, we've been letting our uh, red beans cook here for about two hours now and they are almost done okay let it cook for about two hours as you can see they are thickening up and they're almost done now we're not finished from adding all of our ingredients in so what we're going to do now is like i said we're going to add the smoked sausage in last okay so we're going to add that right on in mix that in now at this point we can go ahead and we're going to season our beans just a little bit not too much because we already added our pickle tips in there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of a Tony Sachery screw seasoning about a tablespoon something like that okay we're going to sprinkle a little bit and mix that in At this point, 
the beans are a little bit creamy. So the last and final ingredient that we're going to use is we're going to add a few heaping spoons of butter. I'm going to add about two. Well, let's make it three. All right. Now we add three heaping spoons of butter, and we're going to mix that in. This will be a pot of beans, boy, I tell you. <laughs> and we're mixing that in now until it's well incorporated. What we're going to do is we're going to let this um, simmer down for about 10 to 15 minutes because our beans are almost done. So. And there we have it. Okay, we've been letting our red beans cook for about 2 hours and 15 minutes. Okay? And as you can see, they have thickened up dramatically. You can see the smoked sausage, the pickle tips, and they are done. Turn your fire off. Now, if your bean, I want to let you know, if your beans, if you don't like your beans too thick, you can always add a little extra, a little water, but don't add too much because you don't want your beans to come out soupy. So, yep. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to serve our beans, okay? I have my plate here with my, my fresh steamed rice. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of these beans right on top. edges. Alright. Alright. Now, we're going to go ahead and cut our cornbread now, which I prepared myself. I'm going to put our cornbread right there, right on the side. And there we have it, red beans and rice made by yours truly. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, taste the beans. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and serve a little bit of fresh iced tea with this. So, okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and sit down. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> very good, very good, very delicious. You can taste the flavor of the pickle tip, pickle tips, and the smoked sausage, and the, the um, onion and the garlic. Mm. Very good. Cheers. And here we have it. Red beans and rice with cornbread. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, etc. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them. And until then, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.